Okay, and then you're picking up a 9mm for a friend, right? <laughs> <laughs> you just use it off the street for 500 bucks. It was a good deal. He's giving you 550 for picking it up for him. It's a good deal, win-win, you know? So you, it doesn't even have bullets in it. And, okay, so your dick's out, and you're like, I'm sorry, I got a boner. You apologize to her, and you have the gun, and you let her know. I'm sorry, I'm picking this gun up for my friend. And we're taking this elevator back down so I can go to McDonald's across the street and get me some hash brown. But of course she's freaking out. Like, you obviously have a gun, you're wanting to murder me, unless I let you rape me. Because I have my penis out. It's what just, is going on? It was a complicated situation, okay? What's going on? Just know this, I didn't have to do anything. She left. <laughs> What? I just, some people have to be less freaked out about a man that's walking around with his penis completely erect and out. <laughs> Chillax! What? Completely erected and out. Wow. Just walking through the mall. What's your fucking Dude, this is the thing! I wasn't even at a mall! I was consulting a lawyer for my mother! And I just wanted to sleep the elevator down. I think she was a secretary going on lunch or something. I mean, I wouldn't even rape that shit secretary. with a ten foot pole. But she was scared that I was gonna rape her. She was ugly! How, why would she be afraid? Let's make it all in Cause you shit's hanging out. <laughs> Dude, you got a thriving bad boner. You can't keep it in some jeans. That's like, seriously... It's like keeping a lion in the cage, it's just not right, you gotta release that shit. <laughs> what? It comes out of nowhere. Oh, Let me give you an image. It's like... Do you ever put your finger inside, like, the corner of a bag and you push on it? Yeah. That's like how it is all the time for me. <laughs> and it sucks. So sometimes I just zip it down and let it hang. <laughs> What? what? Dude, where is all these, this coming from? Just, where is all this coming from? <laughs> I'm honest about it. Okay, dude, you know the <laughs> Ashland Rapist? I don't know if you ever heard of this. This was all a miscommunication. Okay? I had my dick out, I had a gun, they call me a rapist. <laughs> Picked up a fucking gun for a friend, and let my fucking daughter hang out. Cronus, <laughs> we found the red hoodie. <laughs> Dude, it's in the closet, it's hidden, nobody knows. <laughs> Except for your mother and you, but you're you're not really that loose of an end. It's like right? saying if I'm walking around with a black hoodie and a nine millimeter, <laughs> then everybody is <laughs> But that's perfectly <laughs> fine. You're black. <laughs> I would understand that. <laughs> For me, oh. like, <laughs> the places oh, I have been for, oh, that's completely understandable. A black man in a hoodie with a gun. That's fine. What's wrong with that? Oh, you want to let your dick hang out? Go ahead. But no, you move to fucking Oregon and it's a big fucking deal. <laughs> now, if you were, and if you were wearing a hoodie and carrying Skittles, that'd be a big deal. Oh, and sweetie, oh, and sweetie. <laughs> Soon. Oh, too soon, too dude. Soon. That was way too soon. Dude. Dang. Dang. <laughs> oh. oh my god, dude. That was way too soon. Oh my god. Oh my god. What? Wow. But you guys have really never run into a situation like that. <laughs> dude, being black and saying no. sinners is like going to one of Hitler's speeches and being Jewish. Dude, the freaking Hitler was Jewish. <laughs> he was the one giving the speech about himself. I'm surprised one of them didn't come up and just shoot him in the fucking head. <laughs> like, oh my god. This is what he was asking for. He was too much of a pussy to kill himself. So he wanted us to do it. And by the end, he built up the courage and did it. <laughs> Dude, what is going on? Seriously. <laughs> this is all coming at us I like I don't know the definition nothing. of too soon. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, you gotta remember. I'm quite used to being around black people. And them allowing me to say my nigger. What's up, my nigger? 
Nigga, please. Because <laughs> guess what? You're being around them when they're robbing you in the fucking elevator. No, man. I go with my buddies and we drag them behind the truck. Sometimes we run crosses in front of their houses. I don't know what it's for, but it's kind of fun. They say it doesn't harm them at all. What? what? This is what happens when you make friends from Williams. <laughs> Dude, I moved to Oregon and they were like, yeah, dude, it's totally fine. They don't even care. I was like, alright. It's that just kind of true. It actually is. No, but freaking, like, uh, freaking, I don't know if I probably remember him, but uh, Stephen Kidd. You remember? Yes. He was the whitest person you ever knew when we were living in LA and Eureka. He was the whitest motherfucker. And this is like, the gang is gangsville, you know? People are getting shot and stabbed all the time. <laughs> but we were both like the whitest people wow. in the fucking town. And, you know, he's completely black. He's like the whitest guy I know. But we were both white and nerds playing magic sometimes, you know? And I moved to Oregon, and holy shit, he's at the same school as me. And suddenly he has the longest fucking shirt, and his fucking pants are down to his ankle. <laughs> what? And I'm like, what the fuck, Steven? And he starts listening to hip hop, and I'm like, what happened? You were too scared to be like that black around to those people. Once you went to Oregon, you're like, I'm gonna be like this. I don't know. It's sad that he kind of was a walking stereotype. Dude, you should have known him back in like Eureka. Why this guy? Dude, I. Like, seriously, I honestly. Kind of guy that I honestly. Walked around nerd, like, <laughs> I honestly what? still think that what? was way too soon for Viper to make that statement. <laughs> I don't know the definition of too soon. Wow, dude, that was wow. <laughs> Dude, that was wow. I don't know. Uh, I don't see the controversy. <laughs> but yeah, Ryan, you gotta understand this too. My freaking aunt is black. <laughs> my cousin's black. I need to say my nigga. <laughs> My cousin John would come over and be like, my nigga! <laughs> and he'd be like, my nigga! And that's how it went! Oh, and now I come here and that's like, oh my god, you're obviously E-mod. using a racial slur. Yes, Emod! They, after these 30 worry, days, we're buddies. they finally pass Emod. No, they have a new person in here and he has super early. I've been talking to him for a while, they won't kick us. Wow. Just ready up the noob. Well, honestly, I'm just, I'm so used to saying my nigga, a nigga, a nigga please, <laughs> that when I run inside the black people, because I'm black, I'm black Guys, in my heart, what you would know? just say, they think, what would oh, just say, who is this sour cream motherfucker <laughs> saying this word? What, what would you say if I, re if I told you I recorded that whole conversation? I would, I would say, say shit. <laughs> That's awesome. I, I have zero fucks to give. <laughs> Well, what is...